Hello, this is the next video in a playlist that I'm calling Parameter Estimation. And I'm also going to put it in a playlist that I call Exponential Family. <clears throat> and we're going to look at the Cromer Rauer Lower Bound in the Exponential Family. Now, as a reminder of the Cromer Rauer Lower Bound, and I have it in parentheses because I have a video titled that, let's let x be distributed with this distribution, and it's a sample of size n. We have a uh, statistic t and let's let it be unbiased for g of theta and uh, i of one let it be the Fisher information then the variance of our associated with our unbiased estimator is bounded below by this quantity here now the Fisher information can be thought of as from a sample size one times n or just the efficient information from a sample size n. Now it's bounded below, this is a constant and to me that's crazy that any estimator we have uh, is never below this quantity here. Anyway, that's the uh, Cromer Rowell lower bound. Now in theorem 1, <coughs> if f of x, and this is a vector so it's a, a, a joint distribution, is a one parameter exponential family and eta of theta has a non-vanishing derivative. And that essentially means you take the derivative and then for all values of theta it can't be zero. Uh, t, t of theta is the, the UMV UE of its expectation. Now as a reminder this is, is the uh, form of a one parameter exponential family. So this is our uh, sufficient complete statistic. This is a, a function of the uh, parameter eta or theta, eta of theta, and then a of theta, often called the log partition, is only a function of, of theta, and h of x is only a function of the x's. So to prove this, now as a reminder, the expected value of t is g of theta. It's unbiased for g of theta. So we take the log of both sides, and that cancels that, and so we're left with this. Now, <clears throat> Let's take the derivative of both sides, so the derivative of the log likelihood, and this is constant, and then it's the derivative of this, whatever it is, plus the, you know, the derivative of, of a of theta, and this is constant in regards to theta, so it goes away. But now notice that this, this variable, or random variable, if we think of it like that, and this random variable is exactly linear. So this is the slope and this is the uh, y-intercept. And if two variables are linear, perfectly linear, then they have a correlation that's either 1 or minus 1. It's called perfect correlation. So if we square the, cor the correlation between this variable and this variable, it's 1. And I'm going to pass you off to a video called Properties of Correlation where we uh, prove this. So correlation between two variables is defined as the covariance, but remember we're squaring it, divided by the square root of the product of the variances. But since we squared it, it's the square root goes away. And that's equal to 1. Now, in a video that I, that I called Cremer Rau Lower Bound, we proved that this covariance between these two variables is the derivative of g of theta. It's whatever its expectation is. And so I'm going to pass you off to this video to see that derivation. And then in the bottom, you know, we multiply the variance of our uh, estimator up. That's what this is. And this here, the variance of this uh, derivative of the log likelihood is Fisher information. So, um, since the variance of our estimator, unbiased estimator, achieves the Cremer Rau lower bound. It's the UMV UE of its expectation. And the uh, un uniformly minimum variance unbiased estimator of G of theta. And that's what we wanted to show. <clears throat> now, the next theorem is let x of theta be with, distributed with this 
distribution and we're going to take a sample size in and we're going to assume that F you know meets some uh, regularity conditions and I'm going to be vague on that for now but the big one is that we can pass the integral sign I mean the derivative through the integral sign now let's let expect the value of our estimator T of the X you know equal G of theta so we're going to assume it's unbiased and it achieves a Cremere Rauer lower bound then F of X is a one parameter exponential family meaning it has this this distributional form let's prove that so if it achieves a Cremere Rauer lower bound the variance is equal to this constant right that's the it's bounded below by this and then we can uh, you know divide both sides by the variance and we get this and then we work backwards this g prime of theta is the covariance between those these two variables the variance is here and the Fisher information is of a sample size n is this the variance of the derivative of the log likelihood and if and so this is correlation essentially so it's the uh, correlation squared so correlation is between minus one and one but if you square the correlation that equals one that's called perfect correlation there's an exact linear relationship between these two random variables and I'm going to pass you off to a video that I called properties of correlation that says this variable is has an exact linear relationship with this variable right Th these are constants so this is a constant this is a standard deviation a constant a constant so there's an exact relationship linear relationship now it's plus or minus because if the correlation is one then it's plus if it's minus then it you know minus one then it, it's minus but generically let's let's call this k so this is equal to k now let's take this k into both of those take the times and let's integrate both of those over all possible theta which lives in the parameter space omega so nothing new here but the integral of the derivative you know goes away and t of x is constant in regards to theta so it can come out of the integral and then this is whatever it is but since we integrated you know we have don't forget the plus c you know the constant and the, it, so it's a function of only the x's so it's constant in regards to the theta world now let's exponentiate both sides so then this becomes f of x and it's x x uh, you know it's e raised to this power right well if we call this theta of eta right it's a function of theta let's call this a of theta and this the constant this is the form of a one parameter exponential so if it equals the Cremere, if our the variance of our estimator, unbiased estimator, equals the Cremere Rao lower bound, then it's part of a one parameter exponential family. Well anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I sure did. Please like it and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.